your psychological makeup as an adult is directly re related to who you are and who you were born um, as in your family, the position you hold. So a quick story I want to tell you guys and, and kind of paint the picture of nature versus nurture. I watched the, uh, a documentary on CNN, you know, back in probably 2008, 2009, I believe, um, about Michael Eric Dyson and his brother Everett Dyson. So for those who don't know, Michael Eric Dyson is a, a college professor, uh, author of over 16 books, uh, New York Best Times author, uh, April 4th, 1968. The, that book on uh, the life of Dr. King um, is a phenomenal book. You should read it by Michael Eric Dyson. But he's very accomplished. His brother, on the other hand, is uh, currently serving life in prison. Um, unless things have, you know, changed and they got him acquitted on the charge. He was serving a murder charge and, uh, for which he claims that he is innocent of the of that crime. However, the lifestyle of the two of them born in the same house, raised in the same house, excuse me, having the same mother, I don't know about the father, but they were raised by the same mother, grandparents, but the treatment was totally different that nurturing environment was not one that was conducive for Everett, the brother who's in prison, was not afforded the same opportunities as the brother Michael. And uh, in the interview, Michael Eric Dyson alluded to the fact that he's light-skinned and his brother's darker-skinned. So the treatment around the house kind of parallel the fact that okay the lighter skinned boy had a better chance at life so he was treated different and I'm paraphrasing so don't quote me on, on that and I'm going to tie this up in a minute but he was given opportunities that his darker skinned brother his darker skinned brother was not afforded and that is a, 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 a travesty in itself but it goes to it goes to talking about that nurturing environment was not fair for both of those boys who were born in the same environment, raised in the same home, but given two different types of nurturing for one to become an accomplished law professor, excuse me, uh, sociology professor, and one to be serving life in prison. How is that possible? It's possible because since the emphasis of freedom from slavery, we have scars and generational uh, traumas and damage that our family members do not know how to navigate. Our parents do not know how to navigate. Our grandparents do not know how to navigate. And I say do not know how to navigate because it's not something that happened back then. It is still going on to this day. There are grandparents and parents who treat their light-skinned and darker-skinned kids differently. I remember growing up, a lot of people used to say that about me and my brother. I'm darker-skinned, my brother is lighter-skinned. And some would say that he was treated a little bit more... What's the word? He was treated differently than I was treated by my mom, some would say. I don't necessarily see it that way in terms of our, our, our you know, the difference of our, our complexions. Um, I just think it was more of a position of family. It was me being the oldest, him being the baby. So I attribute it to that. But some would say that. And if you look up the uh, the story, uh, the documentary that was done on Mike Eric Dyson and his brother Everett, it's heartbreaking hearing some of the, the, the stories that they, uh, you know, hearing their account from past experiences where inside the same house there was a difference made between the brothers. That's a lot of trauma that's going on in that environment. <music>